Y'all, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying. That sex was so good. Hey, y'all. Um, my name is Aurelius. For those of you who don't know me, um, I wrote a book about a relationship that I was in. It was a very, very toxic relationship. And the relationship ended like three years ago. And when I tell y'all, mentally, I still be thinking about this too. Of course he was a narcissist. <laughs> I didn't know what a narcissist was, right? Until I met him. And, oh, wow, if you dated a narcissist, you know, you know. If you've never dated a narcissist, I feel like you would know. But anyway, I think my thing is, because not just that relationship, but I feel like every relationship I have been in has been toxic. Every single one of them. And I'm not like an astrologist or into like astrology, horoscopes and all that. But I mean, I've dated a lot of cancers. I'm a cancer and I've dated a lot of cancers. I married, I married two cancers. <laughs> um, yeah, married twice, divorced twice, child. <laughs> but yeah, um, I feel like there's just something within me because to be honest i feel like my life is pretty boring like yeah i do create content but honestly i feel like my life is pretty boring like i don't do too much and i mean i'm sorry i i i I love and I really salute and I, I want so bad to be an independent female, but I'm tired of it. I don't want to be independent no more. But the problem is like these guys out here, these guys out here, guys are so weird. And I just feel like down there, every dude I meet is a narcissist. I feel like I, I'm just putting them all in that category now. <laughs> And um, this one guy that I met, um, I met him, we talked on the phone, FaceTime a couple times, made plans to meet up, end up breaking up before we even met up. But he was a narcissist, but he was an honest narcissist. And um, where the guy that I wrote the book about, a shameless plug, link down in the bio. <laughs> but whereas the guy that I dated that was a narcissist, he wasn't a communicator. This guy that I met, like he was, he seemed honest. He came, he kind of told me, well, this is why we do the things we do. And he actually had the audacity to tell me he said, y'all women want a narcissist. Oh my. And I am, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm easily manipulated because after listening to his point of view, I found myself saying, you know what, that guy I dated, he had confidence out of this world. He was fine. He made me feel amazing. He hyped me up like, I, in my book, I said, I, he made me feel like Beyonce. Like, it's just something that nigga did to me that just, oh my God. But, um, yeah, and of course, sex is always Jesus Christ. And, you know, I, I feel like I'm just attracted to that toxic kind of energy. This guy, we had like... sex, and the sex was real straight. Yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying. That sex was so good. It was. <sighs> That's how they get you. That's how they get you. The little toxic, them toxic niggas. 
That's how they get you. What they did. Uh huh. But that's that toxic shit, right? Because only toxic niggas think because the sex is good that they can cheat on you, that they can do whatever they want to do. That's that toxic. But um, that leads me to my point. He said to me, um, when I talked to him the next day, he was like, yeah, I'm glad I ain't got no old lady at home because um, I left all my shit at your house, right? And he was like, she would have sent me back to your house to get my shit, right? What? <laughs> okay. So what she's saying to me is your old lady would be okay with you cheating. Excuse me for having standards. I mean, no shade against dating websites, but I don't feel like dating websites are the place where I'm gonna find the guy that I'm gonna date. In my opinion, I feel like dating websites are just like hookup sites and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I know I hear about people that met that way they got married, but in my opinion, in my experience, online dating. But it's just, <laughs> but these are the kind of guys that always come my way. And now that I have standards, <laughs> I, I really feel like, yeah, after everything that I've been through, you know, I have standards and I feel like my standards, actually, the honest narcissist told me my standards were too high. He told me my standards were too high. And my response to him was, well, they may be, but every time I lower them, I'm instantly reminded why they're so high, right? So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I'm aware I have high standards. But I feel like I bring a lot to the table. Like, yeah, I got a lot of shit going on. Like, I'm far from perfect. Like, I live my life with mental disorders. Like, it's a lot going on here, right? But, like, I still feel like I have a lot to give to a relationship. I do. It just has to be the right one. But I'm going to tell you something about having standards. Standards to have you lonely as fuck. On a Friday, with nothing to do. Want to go out to eat. Want to go to a bar. Want to listen to some music. Go to a concert. Want to film a TikTok. Want to do anything. And of course, have sex. But when you have standards... You don't have nobody to do all that with. Having standards is not for the week. <laughs>